Hello everyone, this is Laszlo once again uh, from Raleigh, North Carolina. This video number two of the update to uh, the video I made on uh, April the 17th. That was approximately 13 days ago. And uh, this, uh, anyway, this part two. And you can find all of this uh, at, at uh, the Yahoo group that I have set up, which is called Hoop House Gardener. You're welcome to join and get all the information on how to build this, how to grow it, how to do everything. Anyway, so we're leaving the hoop house now and we're going to take you around the property and show you what, what's taking place. Around the hoop house, we see the composting bins. We've got them cooking away and they're halfway down. So you can see they're, they're going down quite a bit and pretty soon here, in the, I'll probably turn them today, this afternoon, into the middle bin and starting two new ones again. And that's all my straw that I throw that out here that I work with. And then I have my clippings that I work, turn and mix everything out together. If I just add to it, uh, to the compost bin using this, there's some manure in bags. And it's just uh, a real homey <laughs> farm, farm looking backyard. Okay, let's take a walk around the hoop house to the front of the property. And that's my peat covered up. And that's my gravel that I use. And that's my water tower in case you haven't seen this. And the irrigation, the system that I've put in there, that son of a gun has still not showed up yet. He was supposed to, he was supposed to come out today, today hopefully, and, and, and uh, hook it up for me. But I've been doing all the watering by hand. And anyway, so this is my uh, organic compost pile. And then we, next we come to is, oh, my potato bin, my potato, <laughs> look at this, the trash can potatoes. Last time, if you remember the last one, I, the video, it was like half full, about 17th of last month. And look at these, they have bloomed out, blossomed out, and right now waiting for them to flower. And after that, I'll start digging for potatoes. And there's another one. And they are, they right now, they are really looking nice. It's unbelievable. I hope I get some nice potatoes. I got white potatoes in these, just so you all know. And behind me is we got these six foot beds totaling 36 feet long of um, raspberry and blackberry bushes. Unfortunately, the, the raspberries, only one of them is doing anything. The other two, I don't know what happened to them. So I have to call them and see if they can replace them or use those beds for something else. But this is right here. Look at this. This is real nice. They're doing real nice. I even put a couple of uh, extra uh, marigolds in there so it gives some color. And there's another one. That's doing wonderful. I'm trying to climb already. Look at that. This is going to the cattle panels I used over here for this project because they're real sturdy and they're galvanized steel and there's 16 foot sheets. And you just nail it to the two by fours and you let it rip. Let them just climb it all they want. And you have to worry about rip it, bending them or messing up the, 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 you know, the panel at all. And let's see, the first one is right here. That's doing great too. And this right here, these I was going to put melons in, but I changed my heart, changed my mind. And I think I'm going to use cattle panels, make a an archway out of them and let them run up there instead of these because this takes a lot of soil and actually I can do the uh, the cantaloupes in the in containers and this is my other water tower for the front for the trees the second one is missing on there I'm trying to hook it up uh, trying to fix it up with the uh, spigot and all that it's in the garage and this is the front yard and let's take a look at some of these trees that I planted how they're coming along this one right here is, uh, I made a mistake last time of saying it's a Bartlett pear, but it's a kefir. I don't know why I said Bartlett, but this is a kefir. It is doing wonderful. It's all, I mean, it's beautiful. I can't complain. Compared to the last video you saw. And then we look at over here, this is the mulberry tree. Uh, a King, pa King Pass Pakistani mulberry tree is what this is. And this, I, I thought it was going to die, but it, it's come to life. And there you have it. It's coming to life. That was a, this is the first tree that I planted. And we'll go to the middle, the next tree. And this one is a 
a dark pink cherry. It is doing beautiful. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, what I did with these trees when I planted them, I dug out three foot holes, and I know everybody says, why do you want to go so deep, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I went three feet deep, three feet wide, and, and what I did was I, at the very bottom, I put four inch drain pipes covered with uh, gravel, and that's, that it gives oxygen in the ground, and plus it gives drainage, and then I mixed it in with compost, uh, organic compost, topsoil, peat and vermiculite and some ezomite. And I've been feeding all these, including the back and the, uh, the hoop house, all of, all of them feeding uh, uh, worm, uh, compost tea, using worm compost and uh, unsulfured molasses. And I have an uh, oxygen generator, which puts pure oxygen in it. It's, better than, it's even better than a regular pump. So I get m much more oxygen in the water this way. And what you're looking at right now is a honey crisp apple, which is absolutely beautiful. And as you can see how nice it looks. Now these, I just, I just put, it, put these in just about a, not even a month ago. And then, as you can see in the middle here, I got these uh, flower beds. That's four by eights. Actually, yeah, yes, four by eights. And I got seeds planted in them. All kind of wildflowers and, and honey, humming, hummingbird and uh, uh, bees and butterfly f uh, flowers that att attract all of them. And there's another one. In the middle I have a bird bath for the birdies. And they got hummingbird feeders. And yesterday I saw my very first hummingbird. Amen. All right, now let's go to the next tree here over here. This one is another cherry tree. And this is a Rainier cherry. Again, this be doing beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, that that storm that we had, none of us got uh, damaged. Also, just so y'all know, I put uh, under the roots when I put these trees down. I put down a, a big piece of rock under the root. It was, you know, about a good foot-sized rock. Not a boulder, but it's a big rock, and I and I put covered it with dirt, and I put the roots on top of it. Then I covered up the roots with the uh, soil, and so it anchors, when, as the roots grow around the rock, it anchors it. And so it doesn't tip over and none of that. So, anyway, that's the Rainier tree. And the next one is, one of my favorites is Gala Apple. Also beautiful. It looks absolutely gorgeous. People, neighbors are amazed by what's going on over here. They're like, oh my gosh, you got a... <laughs> a, a nursery, a, a, an orchard, and a nursery back there. Anyway, that's that. And then we go around on the other side of the driveway, around my truck here. And what you see is an apricot tree. Also, I mean, before it was just like a twig practically, and it's really branched out. It looks really nice. It's an apricot. And I got them all secured, protected on, uh, from rabbits chewing on them. And I got good compost around it. And I feed them the good compost tea. And here's another bed. And I've got uh, marigolds and I got all kind of other. This is going to be re really pretty when it's called coming out. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And this one is a nectarine tree. And there you go. Ha there you have it. It's, this is a. Smallest of them all, I think, but it's looking good. It looked really scrawny when I first got it. But anyway, back to the front of the house. And since last time you saw a bunch of wood out front over here, and now I got this bed all fixed up. And this is going to be this is also full of uh, flowers. The back of each of these beds that I'm showing you is uh, sunflower seeds I, I planted, so there'll be <laughs> a bunch of sunflowers coming up on the back of the, each bed. So it's going to look real pretty. And this right here, as you notice, is I, I built a, a, a workbench, and these are container buckets holding uh, cu six cucumbers, four melons, and one watermelon. And there you have it. They are germinating right now under that plastic. And here are my two other barrels that I got to fix up for the outside. And then, outside, I will just, I acquired these yesterday. My neighbor was so kind enough to give it to me. 
at no charge because he was not using it. I said, bless your heart and I'll take it. Anyway, this concludes this uh, video, second video. And I hope you all enjoyed this. And I hope you can do learn some from it. Again, I have all this posted online. And you can just go there and download it, look at it, read it. I got all the documents, links, pictures, the whole nine yards. Go to Yahoo group called Hoop House Gardener. And you'll find all of this on there. Thanks for joining me.